Another thing I wanted to speak to you about because it's been doing the rounds there the last couple of days is just the fact that there's no real um, confirmation that Watch LOI is going to come back and if they do it might not be as many games and stuff like that because the figures weren't as big and stuff like that which is a real it's a real pain if that is the case because it was such a good service in terms of being able to watch games and stuff like that like and the fact that it was staggered around you could actually go and watch other games almost as if you would watch say premier league games because they were staggered you could go, actually go and you could watch other teams whereas before you obviously weren't able to watch teams you'd only ever watch the, the goals and the highlights and you wouldn't see how actual players you know in their position would be and stuff like that now i know there was some minor issues you know commentary and stuff like that i look i can't imagine doing a full commentary of this Everton Spurs game by myself never mind doing a League of Ireland game and making it sound really really interesting it would be hard oh great save um, so people who are using that as the excuse to, to not watch it and stuff like that is because there's one commentator and stuff like that I think that's a bit silly but I do think that the service in terms of the, the video quality in terms of like they could have had a couple of things could have been better but I mean it was just the start of a service like everything that is good takes time to build and obviously i'd say year on year the standard would, would have got better at it so what are your thoughts on it i i know you're a massive fan of it as well and you actually had the yeah the, yeah i was a, a big fan of it and, and like you said it, it was brilliant that the games were staggered and uh, i know that might be more difficult to do when fans go back and to be playing games at six o'clock because it is difficult for fans to get to them but it was great to have two games in an evening and then maybe have a couple of games on a Saturday as well. Um, so, look, I, I think it has to come back in some format. I know they had been talking about maybe showing half the games. Now, I would be very hopeful we get fans back, at least some fans, maybe just season ticket holders, maybe limited capacity in the summertime. But I think there has to be some service available when the games come back in March. Um, so I think something has to be done, even if it doesn't make money. Yeah, so uh, we only got the figures this week and watch LOI, but I, I suppose the fact that the figures weren't being released probably gave an indication that it wasn't uh, a financial success. I thought it was great value for money. It was €55 Euro here. I think you paid a bit more if you were abroad. I think it was 69 if you were living you abroad, more games, you got, the, you got more games, games because we we had the the RT games and the air sport games, and there still will be some RT in air sport games. So um, I would hope it would come back. Even, and I suppose if I'm a fan, I, I obviously I've no skin in the game for any Premier Division club this year. Uh, so I would probably be very happy if I got half the games or something like that that mightn't sound so good if you're a fan of a team that because uh, look let's call a spade a spade if you're going to show half the games you're not going to show half the shamrock rovers games you're going to show all the shamrock rovers games you're going to show probably all the dundalk games all the bohemians or most of the dundalk most of the bohemians games and you might see some longford games and some drahada games etc so i think that's going to cause some issues for fans um what are the options? I I think the, I, I, what I also liked was the way the first division clubs actually stream games, whether they were on Facebook or YouTube or whatever. Yeah, um, I know they're they, really good at that, weren't they? Yeah, Bray, Bray did a fantastic job on it, and uh, Cove did it, Galway did it. Um, and they used, which I think is great, they used, uh, in many cases, fans as commentators. And, uh, okay, you may not get the professional commentator, you may not get your George Hamiltons, but it can be very enjoyable. Uh, maybe not if you're an opposition fan, but if, if to have a, a fan and people involved uh, in the clubs, uh, I'm thinking of Bray in particular, but people not involved that, kn that know the club. And, uh, look, they did an absolutely fantastic job on uh, on the commentary. And it's very interesting. It's It's good to watch. Uh, the camera work can be a bit a bit hit and miss. I know some of the feeds got a bit behind. I, I'm thinking in the first division, I would just I heard some comments on that, that there, there were a couple of minutes behind in some of the games. But even that, I mean, if you don't know what's going on, it's not too bad to be a minute or two behind. So, um, yeah, I, I, I think, look, 
realistically, I know it's, what is it, five weeks to the start of the season, five weeks from Friday. Uh, I don't think there's any chance we're going to have fans in the door. And I, uh, That's my personal opinion, but I think it's going to be fact, right? There won't be fans at League of Ireland games in March, April, possibly not in May or June either. I think we need to get the, the vaccine has got to ramp up big time and the numbers have got to come way down before the government will consider allowing fans at sporting events. So, Having said that, I think there has to be an option for the fans to watch all the games at home. Now, whether that's via Facebook Live, whether it's on YouTube, or whether it's on a proper professional service like Watch LOI, um, I'd like to see it be Watch LOI. But if not, I'd like to see the clubs. They have to have the option of providing their home games to their fans, their season ticket holders. I mean, you have opposition fans will pay for it as well. And uh, I, I think, from what I can remember, most of the first division games were available in some form or another last year. And obviously all the Premier Division games were on Watch LOI. So if a deal can't be done, if the if the financials don't work out, because I do appreciate it, there is a cost to watch LOI. I mean, it was done by RT, and there is a cost to bring in professional camera people. You have professional commentators on, on watch LOI as well, so there is a cost to that. But um, I would hope and expect that if, if it can't be brought back, that the clubs would step up to the mark uh, I'm sure there'll be plenty of volunteers that will come and commentate. And uh, even if you get a couple of fans, I mean, I know, look, Derry City have a couple of fans do uh, local radio commentary on some of the games. And, and that's that's very good as well. It may not be professional commentary, but you have you have fans who really have a passion and a love for the team. And I think that will come through in, in a commentary and Look, if you have a Facebook Live, a YouTube, and uh, a couple of volunteers as, as commentary, it's certainly a lot better than nothing. And I think it'll get the viewing figures. I hope it would be cost-effective for the clubs. And I think it's important for the clubs when fans can't go to games that they can still see what's happening and what's going on. And uh, because, look... Hopefully, I think you have to go and buy. I'm appealing people, I'd certainly be buying a season ticket for Treaty if we can uh, get a get a license for the, the the first division. Please buy a season ticket for your club. It's desperately going to need it. And hopefully, I mean, I think when fans can come back, and really, really hoping fans will be back this summer at League of Ireland games, at least in limited numbers, that season ticket holders will be forced in. But hopefully that. In the meantime, there will be a way of watching your team home and away in both the Premier and First Division. I don't know, Paul. What do you think is going to happen? Well, just like I liked what you said there, like but the like the First Division clubs, they did show some like initiative t to say, "All right, well, look, if they're not going to allow us to, to maybe stream it on Watch LOI, we'll, we'll find our own way of doing it." And to be fair, a lot of the clubs did it did it well. I think. If maybe they can explore the possibility of maybe a local business sponsored some of the advertising for some of the, that might be a way of getting some income on top of, as you say, you know their season ticket sales or whatever, or selling maybe a fiver for the game, a fiver for the stream type of thing, that could be an option as well. But I think some of the clubs, there's a blueprint there from the likes of Longford, the likes of Bray and stuff like that. Some of the other clubs could do. And then over the course of a year, as I said about you know, Watch LOI, if people are kind of given, there's ways around, you know, the top class cameras and stuff like that. Like I, I wouldn't imagine so many of them have the, the top class quality. It's just a matter of showing the games. I'm sure fans of clubs wouldn't care if there was replays or anything like that. Once they can get to see the game, I'm sure there's people that are living abroad that want to see the game, you know, or a Patreon account where you have to pay per month or a season's pass or whatever, and you have the Patreon and you get every game that way. So there is other opportunity, or uh, yeah, other kind of avenues in which you can make money as well at the same time. And that's what I would like to see, that the clubs are making profit from it somehow, one or another, and the fans are getting value for money at the same time, because that's what ultimately what it's all about. I do think the market was quite... You know, quite quick for Watch LOI, it was kind of like, oh, we might have it, and then it was out. There was no real kind of preparation for it, or real kind of, 
it was just there do you know what i mean whereas it didn't give any kind of anticipation for other people who maybe might not follow the league of ireland who might go oh yeah you know what and i've seen a couple of people say maybe to trial maybe five euro or, or say trial a free game <laughs> rather than charge the five euros straight away but in any case the clubs were trying to get money in quick and fast so you can understand why they didn't do that so yeah i suppose it, it's all going to come down to yes one one calvert lewin um, it's all going to come down to the clubs and the league obviously coming to an arrangement and the FAI in that sense but uh, I do think just that the advertising sponsorship could be one idea and then obviously you know um, maybe Patreon or something like that could be another and then that way if you have the Patreon then you can go in and you can watch the video that way and uh, you can stream it on your YouTube channel, but you can do that privately through Patreon, whereas you pay the money and you get a private link and only you, if you've subscribed to Patreon, you can use it that way. So that way it kind of takes away bluffers who, you know, because I was on the Shelburne one before and I was able to watch links that no one else was able to watch unless they were on Patreon of all the classic games and stuff like that, the Deportivo game and I think Hadjik Split and a few other, a few other classics and stuff like that as well. So um, there is opportunities and I'm glad clubs like shells and stuff like that took the opportunity to do that and make their own podcasts and stuff like that as a way of generating a lot of money and i know that they did and i know people like you know gavin white darren cleary done great work for shells and, and look there's other clubs that have done it too but i don't know them as personally as i would know those two uh, and they've done a great job in terms of getting money in the door for shells and obviously the people in the shops and stuff like that too but i think ultimately what it'll come down to is a decision between the league and whoever but it's just a real shame that in, if you look at most other countries and um, they show their their national football channels broadcasters and you think it wouldn't be a question of of views there should solely be a platform that put out the national broadcast and you can watch it you know what i mean i just think it's a real shame that no one's really willing to take a punt on it and you think someone like rt will but they clearly evidently don't care that much about it that that is a problem, and I, I agree. I mean, to be honest, I mean we're paying a license fee, and I think the league should be on as part of a public service, and I, I fully agree with that. Unfortunately, I mean, since I was a young boy, RT seemed mainly interested in showing GA and horse racing. Um, I don't think they show too much horse racing anymore, but they they have had very little interest in in Irish football, um, and. So, and that's sad. I agree. It should be a, a public service. It's a public service broadcaster, and uh, it should be. It should not be seen the games as uh, as commercial and uh, as making them. Uh, so I would hope they would. Yeah, I think we've covered it, and hopefully, look. I really the games have to be available, uh, and and I just actually one thing, Paul, on your Patreon comment. I think that's a good point. Uh, the only issue I would have is uh, there has to be some way for the away fans to watch these games as well. So maybe some way of selling the games on an individual individual match basis. And I can certainly imagine if you take clubs like Shamrock Rovers and Bohemians, which have obviously Dundalk huge support, when they play away to, let's say, a Longford Town or a Drogheda United, who may not have the same levels of support, uh, I would hope Drogheda, they'd normally get a big boost from a big travelling contingent, uh, from Dublin or Dundalk, but in this case, maybe they'd get a big boost from uh, people buying the stream. If it's not on Watch LOI, the Trotter would provide a stream and it gives an opportunity for lots of Rovers fans or lots of Dundalk fans to, to watch to watch the game that way. And even if there is a Trotter commentator with a bit of bias, so what? Come on, you can still enjoy the game. And uh, I certainly, uh, as a neutral, okay, maybe... Uh, Watching the games as a neutral can be different, but uh, would it get frustrating if you're watching? Maybe if I'm watching Treaty away to Bray, and, and Vincent's on the commentary, but he's brilliant. But I mean, uh, obviously biased as well. But hey, I'd be totally biased the other way. Um, I'd still obviously gladly watch it and enjoy it that way as well. And uh, so hopefully that works out for the for the clubs. But Patreon could be the way to go. But please make allowances for away fans as well i think there might be a feature in which you can unlock it for say a game or something like that so i think that might be the case so we'll we'll wait and see kind of what they come up with but obviously it i think it is vital that something is kind of brought you've seen 
the joy it brought to people who were actually able to watch their team.